Vibes Cuisine is brought to you by The Best Dressed Chicken, one of the fine products from the Jamaica Brothers Group, and Lee Kum Kee, authentic Chinese sauces. It's time for the Caribbean cooking show with international flavor, Vibes Cuisine. Welcome to the Vibes Cuisine Kitchen. I'm your host, Michelle Jones, and on today's show, I'm going to be using my best dressed deboned chicken breast to make a ginger plum chicken that is so easy and so tasty. We're gonna take a look at the recipe and we're gonna get started. Today's recipe stars Jamaica's favorite best dressed chicken breast in an easy stir fry with Lee Kum Kee oyster and plum sauces. You'll be amazed just how easy it is to create authentic Chinese dishes. Ready to get cooking? As an accompaniment to today's dish, I'm gonna do some stir fried mushrooms and baby corn. And the truth is, I mean, uh, there's a lot of families that have both mom and dad working and we just don't have time to prepare things as fresh as we may like to every night. So sometimes you have to kind of fudge around and cheat if you can. So what I did today is I had three different types of mushrooms that were tinned and baby corn. So I've drained them off and usually they're packed in brine or a salt water and I find them to be very salty. I have some boiling water here. So I just like to rinse them with a little hot water just to get rid of some of the salt that's on them. The Best Dressed Chicken is Jamaica's favorite, in part thanks to the first-rate production process at the Jamaica Brothers Processing Plant. The meat is cooled from the beginning of processing right through to the delivery to your grocer's refrigerator or freezer, ensuring consistent freshness for your family. Now I'm gonna get started on my chicken breast. I have two chicken breasts here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them across the grain really thin. This just helps me stir fry them that much quicker. And I'm, you, I've decided I'm going to use my chicken breast because I like the way how they'll just cook so quick. You could use deboned chicken thighs with this if you like. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in my heated oil. And to this, I'm also going to add three tablespoons of my Lee Kum Kee oyster sauce. This is all I need to season because it's so packed with so much flavor. Three tablespoons, great. Take out my ginger and just slice this quite thin as well. I'm also gonna go ahead and add this straight in with my chicken so that it gets nice and soft as well. Ooh, you can see it sizzling. Let me go ahead and give this a quick stir. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my mushrooms. I'm just gonna drain them off. And I'm just gonna cut them in half. And again, you can use any kind of mushrooms that you have in a tin. I'm using oysters, abalone, and another Japanese kind of oyster, um, mushroom as well. And of course, I have my baby corn. Now to this, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning. I don't need a lot. I'm gonna definitely add some of my Lee Kum Kee chopped garlic. And I'm going to use a little bit of their ginger sauce just to complement the flavors of my chicken. Okay, I think that should be enough mushrooms for us. I'm gonna go ahead and open my minced garlic. And I'm gonna add about one teaspoon. Now this is actually packed in oil. So I'm not gonna put any oil in the bottom of my, my wok. I'm gonna go and add about one tablespoon of my spicy ginger sauce. This is half a tablespoon and another tablespoon right there. Now let me put this away. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of my yummy mushrooms. 
Very nice. Now, let me just go ahead and give this a quick stir. And would you believe that's all I'm going to use for my stir fry mushrooms. Now, I'm just going to move on. I have my carrot, which I'm going to go ahead and slice it on the diagonal just to make it look nice. I also have a red pepper and a green pepper. Not using anything too hot today. And the red pepper and the green pepper will both give it some beautiful color. So I have my red pepper here. Let me just go ahead and slice it here. Just gonna do it in nice long strips. Make it easy. Now, with the Lee Kum Kee sauces, there are about 200 different sauces that you can use. So you can actually really experiment with the different kinds of sauces for different kinds of flavor, whatever you really like. And today, I decided that I wanted to kind of have a ginger theme. That's why I'm using the ginger slices with the plum sauce and their spicy ginger sauce for my stir fry here. So let me just slice these. Well, my chicken is sizzling, so I'm going to go ahead and add my veg. Give it a quick stir. And it's just for my chicken to no longer be pink. It should take maybe about another minute, a minute and a half. And oh, it smells so nice. Mm, mm, mm. Now the very last thing that I'm going to do is just 